Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KZALnews.com as well as your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Thursday morning forecast update. We have some uh, pretty big weather changes on the way here over the next few days. One of those changes is not this morning. It is another cold morning, but it uh, looks like most locations still above freezing at this hour. But we have Magnolia down to 32. So again, uh, Arkansas, mainly where we'll see those freezing temperatures if we uh, do manage to drop to 32 degrees anywhere else. Streetport right around 40 degrees at sunrise and I expect uh, we'll be around 40 in Texarkana as well. There's the change. You can see uh, with all the sunshine today and a south wind returning our high temperatures will be back uh, in the upper 70s as well as the low 80s and that's actually where we should be for this time of the year. So kind of a typical mid to late October day should be absolutely gorgeous out there and you can see the uh, reason for the change today. This area of high pressure it's now moving east and you can see those winds uh, go clockwise around the high so that means our wind pattern now starting to come back in off the Gulf of Mexico so just that little change today will boost our temperatures about 15 degrees or so and you can see the winds already turned to the north at about or south at about five miles per hour this morning and that south breeze uh, as well as the sunshine combining to warm us uh, to about 80 degrees or so this afternoon humidity stays low today but we will start to feel it build back as we uh, head into the weekend I don't expect we'll see any changes to the sky conditions today uh, we'll likely see Stay sunny through the afternoon, but we'll start to see a few more clouds likely Friday, Saturday, as well as Sunday. And our next chance of rain holding off until Monday and Tuesday of next week. Uh, well above freezing tonight. Your temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s overnight. Still going to be a chilly night tonight. It just won't be as cold uh, tonight as well as tomorrow morning. And uh, look at the weekend forecast. We'll continue that slow warming trend through the weekend. So your weekend highs in the mid 80s. And uh, take note that we'll be fairly breezy this weekend. And that uh, breezy south wind will start to crank up the humidity. So we'll feel uh, more muggy conditions over the weekend. And that humidity building ahead of our next cold front. And uh, you can see on future casts here that that next cold front should be knocking on the door uh, by Monday. So I think midday Monday we may begin to see some showers and storms here and then uh, we're showing the front clearing the region here early Tuesday uh, right now since the uh, timing of the front is still up in the air we don't have any clarity as far as any severe weather threat but it is something we'll have to monitor I would expect we'll maybe see low end potential for either uh, some wind or hail with this cold front as it comes in so uh, we're watching that for Monday into Tuesday we'll probably wind up sliding I think more of the rain towards uh, late Monday here rather than Tuesday morning and as far as the rainfall accumulation it's pretty slow moving front that's the hope anyway so we could see some locations maybe pick up half an inch to an inch of rain uh, if not a little bit more but if the front uh, kind of fizzles out as it makes its way in I would expect we'll see much less rain and uh, again that all is all still up in the air as far as the rainfall but we know this front will uh, likely bring the next cool down for us by the middle of next week so we'll warm it up stay dry through the weekend and that rain coming in right now looks like uh, later Monday into early Tuesday and you can see we uh, clear out behind that front temperatures in the low 70s through the middle of next week.